Welcome to Cameron House Marina, I'm Ruben, the sales manager here at Marine Sales Scotland. And this is a 2006 Jan O'Meary Fisher 925, powered by a Volvo Penta D4260 on shaft. A prime piece of maritime real estate, she boasts a flybridge on what is only a 9.2 metre platform. Previously owned by a well-respected owner of a national haulage firm, he has spared no expense in maintaining what to him was described as an extension of his family. A capable offshore motor cruiser with accommodation for five, she has excellent seafaring capability being rated offshore category B. Rigorously prepared, she has undergone full Marine Sales Scotland works which include a new and complete anti-fouling of the hull, propeller and shaft clean and polished, coupled with brand new underwater anodes. So as you saw, subsurface has been prepared. Then. The dark green waterline stripe has also been renewed. All the graphics on this are brand new. And then we have that gorgeous contour of the flybridge that's accented by the dark green wrap and also that thin silver stripe that does go round. It's broken up by the name ocean pearl on the front and then it continues round on the other side. Brand new tonneau cover coming for the flybridge and then twin motorboat aerials just to give the boat a real presence in the water. Ocean Pearl, she's aptly named and just above the name we do have our male parts for the davits. Female parts are just here at the end of the extended swim platform that's covered in teak. Teak grate, that also houses your reboarding ladder and then we've got a transom shower just off to here. Hot and cold features in case anyone is brave enough to go swimming. Brand new ropes, brand new fenders, aptly placed in the fender basket. You do have fantastic access up along both port and starboard side if you need to get up to the electric anchor winch. Bow cleats as well, midship cleats and then aft cleats which are nice hidden and tucked away. Let's take a look inside. So we are under the semi-protection of the hard top overhang here. One single frame to keep the canopy nice and uncomplicated. We then have L-shaped seating off to with the L off to the starboard side, marine vinyl, and then the backrest is built in to the hull GRP of the boat. Teak in the cockpit, in there lives your gas bottle, and here lives your show power plug-in, and then you can see how good the access is out to both port and starboard side of the walk round. Your stairway to heaven takes you up to the flybridge, and then under the floor is this enormous lazarette. So you've got great access to your 400 litre fuel tank, which is just this aluminium thing here. You've then got a fresh water tank on the port side. The hot water tank or the chlorifier is off to starboard. Then your batteries, spare gas bottle, and then loads of space. Engine, inflatables, whatever it is you want to put down here, you can do it. It is very much a multi-purpose vessel. So we do have fishing rod holders off to both port and starboard. And then you can see your cleats are tucked away in both of the sides and then you can run your ropes through the wee circle here and out it doesn't damage the teak inlay on both sides before we take a look inside why don't we go up now i once said in a video that every day was flybridge weather i didn't lie to you you get good days and you get bad days it could always be worse because while you're underway and up here you get to see the bow wave while you progress through the waves you get a fantastic field of vision from such an elevated point on what is only a 9.25 meter boat you can get your friends and family up here. You've got a navigator seat. There's then loads of space for two deck chairs. The decks are self-draining as well and non-skid. So if kids are up here, well, thankfully as well, you've got quite, it's just below knee height. You've got quite a good guardrail. Kit-wise, bow thruster, EVC controls, steering wheel, of course, and then things like your tachometer. That'll give you as well any warning lights in case the engine management system is trying to tell you something. Let's get out of the rain and we'll move on inside. Now, Jeanne will do it really, really well. Maximal light penetration in here, thanks to the big extended hull side windows. You can see how they've been sloped down to allow natural light to come in. Very functional with this U-shape saloon off to the port side. You can drop the table down. You can also flip the seat forward. It's on a hinge to form a navigator seat just next to the helm. This is much more functional, although slightly smaller than the Beneteau Antares 9.8. You get a lot more space around this table here because it's deeper. And also in the Beneteau, you've got the galley here. And this is dead space, not on this. A fantastic setup, I much prefer it. So we've got our hot and cold stainless steel, very clean sink. A very clean fridge with a freezer compartment. I'm sure you get the trend. Storage underneath the sink, another storage locker there as well, microwave oven. And then what I do find quite nifty is if we remove this, not only does that give us access to our twin gas burners, 
Now we've got a serving tray so we can bring people food and drink. Fantastic. Now all that, as I mentioned, is opposite the U-shaped saloon. We can drop the table down. That gives us space for another two people to sleep here. You've got curtains, blinds that will black out the light and that is effectively bedroom number three. Now just behind that we then have our Abasto heating system control, the creme de la creme, the Rolls Royce of heating systems. And then if we actually move the seat forward, just like that, we now have our navigator's position. So you can ride with your family, your family can sit up while you are underway if you decide not to drive from the flybridge. Helm position, single helm, it is on our rotation and a swivel. Electronic EVC controls. And then we've got our bow thruster just here. Things like our water pump, bilge pump, stereo system here, wipers, horn, and then the main center focus is this Raymarine C80 plotter. We've also, as you can see there, got a transducer for depth. EVC control panel just above, and then our Raymarine VHF. And look how beautifully the engine just starts up. First time, here we go. Two hundred and thirty-seven point eight hours. It's really nothing at all. Get this back. Let's move on with the rest of the pool. Wonderful. Forward is the master cabin. Starboard is the VIP or the guest cabin, and then port side is the heads compartment. Polished stainless steel sink. Then what you've got is your tap faucet. We'll pull out, clip into there to form a shower. Pump flush toilet with a waste tank. Your indicator is also here and there is full standing headroom for someone six foot four or under within this area. Shelves recess at the back and then storage lockers underneath the sink, just like so. And then another locker here as well. And another one there. Hot water comes directly from the engines or also the calorifier on board if you are plugged into shore power. Moving into the forward cabin, now the bed's offset to the port side, that gives us the central entrance into the cabin. Also gives you more length on the bed. Ample head height, nice choice of textiles, light wood, light upholstery, that makes this very fresh and arid. We've got good storage as well off to the starboard side, a good locker that. Just pay attention to the fact this has a shelf on it, more on that in a minute. And then you've got hanging locker storage here as well. Lots of little areas where you can put your items just underneath that porthole there. And then I am a big fan of an overspill seat. It means you can sit, relax, unwind after a long day in the water, read a book for example. That isn't my autobiography. And then you do have, that would only be a page by the way, and then you have a 230 volt shore power plug-in if you want to charge your phone while you sleep. Everyone does it. That is definitely a double. And it is a very nice cabin, cleaned to perfection for whoever the new owner may be. Right, let's look at the guest cabin. Okay, so here it is. Now it's a single berth. And remember how I said on the starboard side there was a shelf in that storage locker? Well, that means that your guests can put their feet up sort of into the cabin area, but they've recessed it, they've put a well and they built it into the bulkhead. So that's smart because otherwise this would just be dead space. You also then, if you want it, have this shelf. You can use it as a desk as well. Porthole there in case you want to sit down and get some ventilation if you've got any work to do. It's a fantastic place to do it. Heating vent in here as well, so it is usable in all seasons. Final thing to do, folks, is take a look at the engine. Propulsion is delivered by a single Volvo Penta D4 260 horsepower diesel engine on a shaft. D4 is one of our favourite engines, very reliable, very, very simple, not complicated at all. There we go, I'm Ruben aboard a Jano Mary Fisher 925 from Marine Sales Scotland, where fun in the water begins.